All right, uh, let's look at the homework 5.1, uh, problem number five. All right, uh, speedometer readings are given in this uh, table here, and uh, uh, it's uh, recorded at uh, every 12 second interval. All right, so let's look at part A. Estimate the distance traveled by the motorcycle during this time period using the velocities at the beginning of the time interval. So this is basically uh, the same thing as a uh, uh, left sum because we're using the at the beginning, right? So what we can do is uh, let's see. I'm gonna just pull out the uh, algebra, All right? So we know that um, uh, first one, uh, first velocity thirty, and the next one is twenty-seven, and twenty-five, twenty-two, and then twenty-five. And we do not use the 27 because that's the last one. And uh, this is uh, 12 seconds. All right? you can see that the velocity times time uh, give you distance. So this is the total distance uh, traveled by the, uh, at least the estimate. So it's uh, 1,000, oops, 1,548. 1,548, all right? And part B, give another estimate using the velocity at the end of the time period. All right? So uh, we can just uh, pull out the uh, algebra again. All right, this time, for the first uh, interval, we're going to use 27. All right? For the second one, we use 25. And next one is uh, 22 and 25 again. And then 27. And then time interval is 12. All right? So we get uh, 15, 12. So we put 15, 12. All right. Then uh, part C, are your estimate in part A and part B upper or lower estimate? All right. In this case, uh, let's see, the um, reading is not decreasing all the time or increasing all the time. So it's actually neither. All right. So let's uh, double check, submit for testing. All right, uh, I came back and looks like we got uh, all parts correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.